Welcome to the Cabela Saltwater Series Fishing Show, home of some of the hottest fishing action on the coast. With your host, Scott Simmons and Jim Elrod, join us as we cover the Cabela's Redfish Series tournaments and fish with some of the top saltwater anglers. The Saltwater Series is sponsored by Cabela's, the world's foremost outfitters, Mayak Boats, leaving the competition behind, Cresta's Boats and Motors, Port Aransas Chamber of Commerce, the Brazos Sport Convention and Visitors Council, Evan Rude E-Tech, Laguna Rods, Wade Wright, Power Pole, Tejano Salsa, and these fine sponsors. Well, we designed the Wade Wright to, to be a belt, but without be a belt. Uh, fishermen like to carry gear, especially when they're wading. Uh, they get away from the boat and they, you know, if you, if you get broken off or you've got to change lures, you know, you can't carry everything in all bodies of water. Sometimes what you wear around your waist is, is underwater. So we designed the Wade Wright to bring everything up off the waist and up to the chest and shoulder level, starting with the rod with the reel in the back at the shoulder height. And then we wanted to outfit it with these one inch clips to allow an angler to customize what they want, whatever they want to carry. For instance, I have a shoulder box that we, that we sell, double box. And then I have a rod tube in the front, my pliers of course up here. So everything is close to my chest. It's up out of the water. Uh, I know that if, if my chest is out of the water, I'm out of the water. And I know that if I need to handle a fish, if I need to retie, I've got a secure place I can put my fishing rod and know that it's not gonna fall, I'm not gonna dunk my reel, and uh, hopefully I'm just dunking lures that day. Came back and got it. Not a bad little flounder. Made it real easy to take the hook out. Landed it with my landing net. Put my rod right here. Now I got two hands to handle the fish. If I was carrying a stringer today, I could stringer them up and not have to worry about the fish getting off or uh, not getting to go in the fish bucket today. That was sitting on the bottom. <laughs> you fit? Yeah. I've been wrong every time so far. Yeah. 
a bad little fish. All right. Good Whoa, Good that's a pretty one, man. Good Real pretty fish. What'd you catch that on? Gold spoon. Man. Louder on the spoon. Look at that. I just like dragging it. a spoon across the bottom. Snagged up a nice little flounder. That'll eat good tonight. So, having a place to put your rod and get everything out of your way, deal with all this with two hands and not one, makes all the difference in the world. What's nice about all the gear is I can still work a lure. Not in my way, I don't have to fish around it. I know it's gonna be there, it's, it's fixed. It's a, a peace of mind almost to know that I've got a, a secure place to put my rod and reel and uh, kind of look at it like it's an insurance policy, insuring the, the life of my equipment. What you got there, Ned? I believe it's another flounder. Flounder? I didn't realize you're such a flounder fisherman. We, I didn't either. It's a good flounder too. If I knew you are good at catching them, I'd have taken you to a different spot. I want you to catch all my flounder. <laughs> good flounder. Man. Pretty little flounder. A little good eating size. We'll put him on, uh, we'll put him on somebody's trainer for sure. Yeah, Tim had come up with a design that we took, uh, to the Houston fishing show and we had success with it and uh, through our tinkering and deciding what we could go from there we came up with uh, the choice model which allowed you to have all the accessories and uh, that's where we really put our heads together and came up with the product that you see right now and uh, it allows you to carry what you want when you want. First one he made I think he actually had it sewed together at a shoe shop and uh, he shows up wearing this thing and it, it it doesn't it remotely resembles what we have now and he's wearing this and he's got enough gear on the front of it that looks like something from Terminator and uh, I was like man you gotta be kidding me and uh, then uh, he started telling me about it and why he made it and it was mainly to keep your rod out of the water and that trip is when I dunked one of my reels and that was the last time I dunked a reel we made one after that for me, and right where you're standing is about where we've you're been making them ever since. Right where you are. Oh, there you go. Um. See, you get them in the net, let out a little line, stop the rod tube in, now I got two hands to mess with the fish. Always nice having two hands to mess with a fish. Not a bad mess of fish. captioning provided by Wade Ride by Coastal Fishing Gear. If you would like to find out more information about the Cabela's Saltwater Series tournaments, including the Cabela's Redfish Series, Redfish Anglers Association Tour, Mayak Owners Tournament, or Texas Kids Series, visit www.saltwaterseries.com or like us on Facebook.